Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense, and today we will talk about the basics of cancer with a mnemonic. This is a lovely introduction to the subject of oncology or pathology or oncopathology. The word cancer is synonymous with a malignant tumor. If you want my discussion about other cancers, I have videos about these here on my channel, especially in my hematology oncology playlist. There are no solutions in life, there are only incremental trade-offs. Hey, medicosis is a growth a good thing? Well, it depends, there are no solutions, only trade-offs. A growth in an embryo usually provides embryogenesis or gametogenesis. This is basically the entire embryo. An embryo who is not growing is not going to make it. When you injure your tissue, growth can provide healing and regeneration. But don't forget that cancer is also growth, and this can kill you. Remember this for your next corporate meeting where you discuss, quote, growth strategies. Well, sometimes the company grows and it's beautiful, but sometimes they grow like cancer, harm other people, outgrow their blood supply until they suffocate, just like malignant neoplasia. So what is cancer? First, we have many types of cell growth. It could be hypertrophy, hyperplasia, metaplasia, dysplasia, neoplasia. Hypertrophy is increase in the size of the cell. Hyperplasia is increase the number of the cell. Metaplasia is when you change one type of tissue to another type of tissue in the same category of tissues, from epithelium to another epithelium, or from connective to another connective tissue. But epithelium cannot jump to connective tissue. Dysplasia is, this means abnormal, difficult, etc. So this is abnormal growth, dysfunctional growth. It's weird because this might turn into neoplasia. Neoplasia is the same as tumors, and tumors could be benign or malignant. Definition of neoplasia, abnormal mass of tissue whose growth exceeds and is uncoordinated with that of normal tissue. And it persists even after the cessation of the stimulus that caused the growth in the first place. Cancers are weird. Tumors, the same as neoplasia, is the same as any word that ends in OMA, except Oklahoma. Malignant tumors are the same as cancers. So cancers could be carcinomas or sarcomas. Carcinoma is a cancer of epithelial tissue. Sarcoma is cancer of connective tissue. When carcinomas metastasize, they prefer to go to the lymph first. When sarcomas metastasize, they prefer the blood. Are cancers monoclonal or polyclonal? It could be either, but let's just, for simplicity's sake, say that cancers are monoclonal. What does monoclonal mean? It means that the disaster started in one crazy cell. Just one stupid, abnormal, malignant mutant cell is what started everything. Example, look at this. All right, so I had three to one, three kappa to one lambda. This is normal. Okay, I got some infection. So as a normal response to that infection, I increased. Okay, but I preserved the ratio because this is polyclonal increase. The cap has increased, the lambda has increased. Everything increased proportionally. This is awesome. This is normal. This is what you expect. But look at cancer. Here is the normal ratio. Here is the ratio when you have B-cell lympho. Oh my goodness, what's that? What the flip is that? Only one crazy cell decided to grow and multiply and divide like mad. Cancer is growth with no control, growth with no limit, growth with no evidence cause. That's why if you're honest, don't say X causes cancer, say X may be a risk factor for cancer. Correlation is not the same as causation. Also, morality is not causality. Just because you hate something doesn't mean it causes cancer. Cancer serves no useful function. It arises from any type of cells. It could be non-functioning, most of them don't serve a function, or it could be something in the sense that they secrete something. This can happen with endocrine tumors and it can happen with paraneoplastic syndromes. Hey, medicosis, why don't we have a cure for cancer? On hearing that a New Yorker is hit by a car once every 30 minutes, the listener replied, gee, he must get awfully tired of that. As Dr. Thomas Sowell illustrates, why is this fallacious? Because a New Yorker is a statistical category, not a singular individual. Similarly, cancer is a statistical, pathological category. It's not one disease. Medicosis, why don't we have a cure for cancer? Which cancer are you talking about? Because if you're talking about basal cell carcinoma, which is a cancer of the skin, basically you go to the doctor twice. Once to diagnose it, once to remove it with excisional biopsy. That's it. 
And for me, that's a cure for cancer. CML, oh, imatinib, it works in something like 95% of cases. Where I grew up, we call this a cure. Many types of ALL have a cure. It's combination chemotherapy, it works in something also great, like 97% of cases. Hodgkin's lymphoma has a cure, it's called ABVD. I'm not saying it's gonna work for 100% of people, but it works in most of them. Moreover, most stage one cancers, they are cancers, have a cure, just remove them when they are still small and removable. But to be fair, other cancers don't have a cure. We do not have a cure for pancreatic cancer, for example, it's an evil cancer. This can kill you in a matter of six months. Benign tumors are here, malignant tumors are here. Malignant tumors, these are the cancers. Cancers are not capsulated. Cancers might have a false capsule, but that's not a true capsule. This is not a biological membrane that belongs to the cancer. Cancers can have hemorrhage and necrosis. Cancers under the microscope have criteria of malignancy. The cells are variable, irregular in size and shape. The nucleus is weird and pleomorphic, irregular, variable, etc. Hyperchromatic nucleus, the nucleus is dark. There is increased nucleus cytoplasmic ratio. The nucleolus is big and also dark. Benign tumors care for their neighbors. They care about the surrounding structure, but cancer doesn't care. There is loss of polarity. Here is a small cell, small cell, small cell. No, 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 I'm gonna destroy all of you. I don't care how you look, I'm gonna destroy you. If I have a benign tumor and I removed it, it's not gonna come back. But if I have cancer and I remove it, it can come back. Benign tumors are usually not dangerous with some exceptions, but cancers are dangerous. They can kill you. I'm not saying they will 100% kill you. Some people get therapy. Some patients will see their tumors disappear and regress on its own with no intervention, whether they follow a plant-based diet or they eat like a pig. Cancer resolution and regression is one of the poorly understood phenomena. But hey, medicosis, my professor told me that the reason this happens is because the cancer outgrew its blood supply or got destroyed by the immune system. Okay, that's true, but why did this happen in few people and not most of them? That's the question. I'm not asking about the how, I'm asking about the why. How cancer kills people, anemia, cachexia, organ destruction, metastases, obstruction of organs, tubes, canals, ducts, ventricles, etc. And it can secrete some stuff and we call this paraneoplastic syndrome. The stuff secreted by the cancer can kill you. How do you manage cancer? Don't forget, few cancers resolve on their own. No clue why. With cancers, you can watch and wait, you can do surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, or blood separation or apheresis in some blood cancers called leukemias. Here is a very short list of people who had pancreatic cancer. And now to the mnemonic, the M mnemonic for cancer. Cancer is malignant. Well, no duh, thank you, Captain Obvious. Cancer is mad, rapid cell division. Cancer is myopic, usually monoclonal, one crazy cell. Cancer can metastasize, we call these secondaries. So the original cancer is called the primary. Okay, let's say I had lung cancer. That's your primary cancer. This lung cancer metastasized to the brain. Whatever is in the brain now is called secondary. Secondary to what? Secondary to the primary in your lung. Cancer is meticulous. Cancer has preferences called cancer predilection. Example, breast cancer loves to metastasize to bones. Prostate cancer also loves to metastasize to bones. Lung cancer likes to go to the brain. Colon cancer loves to metastasize to the liver. This is called cancer predilection. Even cancers are not random. In many cases, there is a pattern to be studied. Hence, oncology. Hence, pathology. Cancer is mannerless. Example, suppose that I have a type of leukemia. Okay, this will lead to an increase in one type of my white blood cells. Everything else is gonna be sacrificed. The bone marrow is gonna stop making red blood cells, anemia. It's gonna stop making platelets, thrombocytopenia. Oh, so we're only focusing on one stupid type of one stupid white blood cells. Everything else is suffering. That's true. Cancer crowds out other cells. Loss of polarity. Cancer eats other people's food. Cancer can mimic. Example, small cell lung cancer secrete ACTH. In that sense, lung cancer is mimicking the anterior pituitary gland. The same stupid cancer can also secrete ADH, antidiuretic hormone. In this sense, this cancer is mimicking the hypothalamus. 
Cancer, mmm, we love sugar. That's why cancers shine on PET scans, positron emission tomography. You'll find the cancer shining greater than the rest of the tissue because it's eating sugar. Cancer grows with no limits. In math, we call this exponential or geometrical growth until your cancer becomes a mammoth. Even then, it might not stop. In some cases, it might stop if it outgrows its blood supply or if your immune system decides to wake up and kill the stupid thing. Hey, Medicosis, quick question. Uh, I read on a blog that every day we have cancers in our body and the immune system kills all of those cancers every day. Shut up. Every day you have mutations. But you're not having cancers every day. Cancer is a mass by definition. So you're saying that every day I have a mass in my body, like on my skin, and I don't see it, and then it goes away? Shut up. Every day I have mutations, and these mutations get stopped. Remember the cell cycle checkpoints. Remember your DNA proofreading mechanisms. Remember your lymphocytes. When all of this fails, and I develop a mass, this is cancer. Next, cancer is magical. There is no evident cause. We have risk factors. Correlation is not causation. So don't say X causes cancer. The only exception, if you say smoking causes cancer, I'm not gonna yell at you. But with anything else, we don't have enough evidence to prove causation. It's all about correlation. Next, cancer is amorphous, which means irregular. Cancer is manipulative. It's evading your immune system. Cancer likes amnesty. It stays in your body. It's uninvited. We don't want it. I'm gonna stay here against the will of your immune system. Cancer could be manageable or it could be malicious. If cancer is malicious or malevolent, how does it kill us? Cachexia, anemia, and other techniques. If cancer causes chronic inflammation, which can happen, is secondary amyloidosis. Don't forget that cancer is not the same as carcinoid. The word oid means like. Carcinoid is cancer-like. This is the meaning of the word. Okay, medical. So, so is this benign or malignant? Well, you have to send the sample to a pathologist and the pathologist will tell you. But the word does not imply cancer. That's the point. These were the basics of cancer pathology. If you want the pharmacology, I have a course on my website called Anti-Cancer Pharmacology with 15 videos, 20 cases with answers, my perfectionist ultimate notebook, and a schematic diagram. Go to medicosisperfectionalist.com, download it today. No subscription. You download it once, keep it for you forever. And you can get a 60% discount towards anything on my website. Just use discount code New Year Learning at checkout. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website, download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.